living on the streets of Peru. No one is going to help if you don't help yourself. We need each other. Welcome to another episode of Making a Change. This week, we got the wonderful opportunity to go visit the Hood Project. We began everything by speaking to Pastor Alexander. I'm Pastor Adam Alexander uh, from the Hood uh, uh, Project in Eitzach. Hood means helping others obtain dignity. We in, I'm in this community since, since 2000, 2003, when I started this organization. This organization uh, focus on early childhood, early childhood development, uh, crime prevention, um, and also the elderly, helping children um, at schools with literacy, with literacy programs. Okay, what I uh, realize, what we, our organization, organization realizes is that children um, at the age of, of 9, 10, and 18 cannot read um, in, 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 in high school and that's why we started that program. We're also doing a food gardening project where we help our community to sustain themselves by meaning of the food projects. Uh, we have a soup kitchen that we're running twice a week. Then he gave his inspirations for starting the organization. The reason why I started this project in, in uh, I'm from the Northern Cape. I worked for a very big corporate company for that time, but I lost my job in 1994. I lost my job, and when I lost my job, I um, was one of those people that living on the streets of Peru for about four years. And on the streets of Peru, I was, I was, learn or thought how to survive, how to survive. And what I learned from the people of, on the streets, they are people that are close-knit family and they provide, help to provide and help to, 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 to each other on the streets. And in 1996, I changed my life and accept Jesus Christ. I changed my life. And when I came to, when I come into a community, my life is changed, and I said to myself, how can I help my community not to land where I was landed? And that's what inspires me to help my community and do more in our community. I was uh, approaching this disabled uh, people from, from Ravensmead. And I asked them to help me, just to prepare the gardening for me. And, 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 and by all means, when they, were, when they came to me, they said to me, Pastor, we are not disabled, we are able. And that's what inspired me. And uh, uh, when they helped me to prepare my, 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 my bedding, and I started to put in the potatoes, and after a week when my uh, potatoes come up, it was, for me, it was a joyful moment just to see what I can do with my hands, that I'm not disabled, and what I can do with my hands. And what also inspired me is that that people sitting, they, 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 they work with one hand, and there's still people that asking me, Pastor, is there not a job for me? And, 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 but, but, they, they don't want to do the things what the disabled people do. Then I got to speak to someone who is affiliated with the Hood Project. No, we don't see ourselves as, as being held back because we don't see ourselves as disabled people because that's the, that is why the group is Ravensmith Able Group. We don't see ourselves as disabled. We want each and everybody to, be, to know that even though you have a disability, your mind is not disabled. You can still do stuff which other people can do and we sometimes I see us as disabled people doing more than the able bodies because we are doing much more than able bodies are doing at the moment. Some uh, able bodies are sitting at home where we, where we see ourselves as wanting to be part of the community, helping the community and even assisting them in having knowledge 
as starting their own home gardens as well. No one is going to help if you don't help yourself. Then we also got a moment to speak about the events and drives that the organization is currently working towards. Every year in December, we giving, we putting a smile on a child's face. We try by all means to give 2,000 children in our every year. And with the help of my wife, we always do that, we can do that. This year on the 16th, uh, because we're starting the food gardening project, we want to, we want to uh, take the crop out on the, on the 13th, 14th, then my potatoes will be 100 days. We're going to take out the potatoes and, and uh, uh, try to, 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 to uh, do a uh, food cook-off uh, with the elderly giving them an early Christmas lunch and we also want to give each children, each child, a, a packet and we feed, us we feed 2,000, 2,500 children. So before we go any further, I would just like to take a moment to thank our sponsor of today's video, Medico Herbs Group. They provide the absolute best remedies and herbs in all of South Africa. They offer a unique range of drops, sprays, capsules and dried herbs amongst their thousands of different options. The link to their online store with those thousands of different options is down in the description below. Without them, today's video would not be possible, so I would just like to say a massive, massive, massive thank you. And now, let's get back to the video. That's why we also start this initiative and said to our people and, and try to help our people by this, by this means to learn them how to fish and not wait for the fish. In the community that I love, our people in our community only lives on the 350 rent social ground. Our aim with our wood project is to bring social stability in our communities. The reason for this, uh, also for this uh, uh, food gardening project, is that we want to give back to our communities. And what we also do when we, when the first, the first project that we have, is that when we give out the food in our communities, we don't give them for free. We, we do recycling, we let them bring us the uh, the empty uh, cooling cans, uh, plastic cans, with that uh, plastic bottles, we recycle them and we buy more uh, seedlings for our project. Then Pastor Alexander had some words for the viewers. I want the people out there to know, alone we will not achieve what we achieve up to today. And we need people to partner with us. Uh, uh, no matter it's small or big, we need each other. And that was The Hood Project. If you would like to learn more about the organization and also get into contact with them, all of their links and information is down in the description below. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to follow us on all of our other social media platforms so that you can be part of the journey in making a change.